Yes, I'm Professor Mary Songko Nabachwa, the Dean, Faculty of Social Sciences. And I am here to interest you to become a student or a supporter of the Faculty of Social Sciences. I have been here at Uganda Christian University um, for the last 12 years. And I am happy to say that I'm not here because I have to be here. I'm here because I believe Uganda Christian University has the best social science faculty in Uganda. Uh, the faculty started in 1997 uh, offering the program of social work and social administration. By then, it was part of the Faculty of Education, Arts and Sciences. Hello, my name is Kasule Chibirike. I am a social worker educator here. I trained as a social worker now. I am also the head of department at Uganda Christian University. Uh, Department of Social Work and Social Administration. Over the years, since 1997, we have been improving both curriculum and instruction of social work training and education in this university. Uh, we run three programs, the Diploma, the Bachelor of Social Work, and the Master of Social Work. All these programs are accredited programs by the National Council for Higher Education. Specifically, we are the only accredited Master of Social Work in Uganda currently. Now, as you may know, in Uganda, there is no problem with finding work, but there is always a problem with finding people with the requisite skills that can fit into the job market and the jobs that are available in Uganda. We have the most terminal degree qualifications for those that must teach social work. And recently, I have been uh, nominated on the Committee of National Council for Higher Education that is going to set uh, regulations for social work education and training in the whole of Uganda. So, in the Department of Public Administration and Governance uh, here at Uganda Christian University, uh, we aspire to be a department, uh, you know, which is a center of excellence in the heart of Africa in the area of research, in teaching, and uh, in community service, especially on issues to do with public administration, uh, on policy matters, as well as on governance matters. We appreciate and value excellency in teaching, research, and service. Critical thinking is very important. Respect for students and staff are very fundamental. Social responsibility, we want to prepare citizens who will mind about the society in which they live. And no wonder actually we put so much emphasis on their engagement in uh, community service. Upholding ethical principles and standards in service, that is one of the things that have made UCU graduates very unique, especially from our department. Academic freedom and personal responsibility are very important to us and we cherish uh, students' comfort in diversity because we attract the students' population uh, from across the continent. Our programs are wide-ranging from a diploma in public administration. Uh, we have two bachelor's degrees, bachelor's in governance and international relations, and bachelor's in public administration and management. The two masters, which you must not forget, masters in public administration is a modular program. And this one actually we run in here at, Kampala, at main campus uh, in Mukono, but also at Kampala campus. The master of research and public policy, we have a full-time program, but we also have uh, a weekend program, the full-time program uh, at main campus and the weekend program definitely running at Kampala campus. We have a postgraduate diploma in public administration and management. That one also runs uh, on a modular basis. I should also add that another unique thing about our department is that we have a student's society called the Public Administration and Governance Society. 
this society normally organizes public debates, it organizes workshops, we invite in guest speakers, distinguished persons with a wealth of experience in our field of governance and, and, and related policy matters. And so this umbrella body brings together all our students and provides them with a sense of identity and a professional you know, kind of um, you know, growth uh, in, in, in the department. Our entry requirements are equally favorable to any serious student who is willing to join our department. We look at the A-level students, for example, those who have completed A-level, you basically need two principal passes. The rest of the details can be sorted out when you apply. So two principal passes uh, at A-level are very important to begin with in any of the two subjects which are taught in secondary school level in Uganda, but also in any other country, or the equivalent. The equivalent of those two uh, becomes uh, very fundamental. A postgraduate, uh, post-secondary school diploma is equally very important. It can help you to join uh, a degree program, or sometimes you can pass a mature entry uh, examination, which is also offered uh, at the university, and you are able to join any of our programs. So those who are intending to join our master's degrees, it's very important that you actually don't have a past degree. We normally look at um, uh, a second class upper at bachelor's in terms of uh, C CGPA. We are looking at something like 3.6. Then thereafter, you could apply. Yes, we provide the knowledge in class. But how does this knowledge link to practice? Fieldwork is a critical element uh, for us as, as a faculty, and we ensure that we work with you as a student to get a field placement that is relevant to your interests. And this is done for two years. So by the time you get to third year, you've definitely had a fieldwork experience for all students. Uh, my name is Jonathan Tumwebazi. I'm a graduate of Uganda Christian University. I went through the Faculty of Social Sciences and specifically I was under the uh, Department of Development Studies for my bachelor's program, the bachelor's degree in Development Studies. And basically what I can say about how the program helped me was to uh, help me really to understand the importance of development practice and how development uh, studies prepares students to work with communities but understand them from their own context and be able to help them and be able to have innovative uh, means that can reach them at their points of needs. But also going through the MICA program, the Mission for Civic Awareness and Health, going to the field and having um, a practical experience on top of the uh, on, to on top of the, the theory that we're having in class. So being in the field, that was also something very uh, instrumental for me. And most importantly is the, the point of um, having a, a connection with my professors and lecturers uh, in our classes. We, it was kind of a community in a sense that you're able to have a hands-on um, interface with your lecturers and they're able to help you with your, with your assignments, they're able to help you with your discussions. So it moved away from the student lecturer space to a space where the lecturers are willing to engage with the students to a point that they're willing to help them to see them grow uh, in the academics. And even when I graduated, they still kept back following up and seeing how um, I was progressing and how I was moving and they really kept uh, following up to me. For the students who are out there who would really want to uh, pursue um, a given degree that can help them to prepare their minds to work with community initiatives, to be able to integrate what they're learning in class with community development, development studies is really the best course that can sail you out. But even outside of that, um, uh, other programs that are offered in social sciences, uh, in the public administration and governance department, in the social work department, um, 
other programs that are offered even in the counseling department but even in other departments they're all designed in such a way that they help students to be prepared to confront the questions that challenge them in the work environment. The Department of Development Studies at Uganda Christian University is one of those um, departments in this country that really offer concrete training for people who are concerned about the development of our communities, about the transformation of our communities, and the development of this nation. And therefore, I do encourage you to come and experience this practical training that will make you a community change agent. Thank you. We look at you from the knowledge point of view. We focus on you from the skills point of view and even the behaviors that are relevant in, 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 in society. And I think there may be very few universities, if not only ours and in particular our faculty, if I may say that, that will make you feel proud and good to belong. Course applications are always available. You can get them online or you can reach out uh, to the admission office at the main campus uh, in Kolong. I do encourage you to come and experience this practical training that will make you a community change agent. Please come and become a member as a student or a supporter of our faculty. In fact, in the recent past, we are also building partnerships with non-government organizations. Right now, we have a relationship with uh, development research and training. We do have a relationship with Uganda Red Cross. We do have several relationships with several NGOs in Uganda. But we are also building relationships with international universities, such as the Applied Hens University of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands. We do we are building relationships with uh, universities in the US. The aim is to make you globally relevant as a student, to have these global experiences, yet you're contextualized in Uganda. So please come and join us as a supporter or as a student. We, we want to work with you to become the best that you can become. God bless you.